by we took men and women and to see what they could handle and put balloons up their ass and blew up the balloons until they couldn't stand it anymore. Oh my God. And I don't know. I, I one of my favorite TV series of all time is Hannibal, Hannibal on Amazon Prime. So I am used to eating dinner and also watching something violent, and I can yeah. eat and I can eat, and it doesn't bother me. Like I, you know, I, I'm. It's just like something that's happening on the screen. It, it's so well written. It's interesting, and there's also incredibly violent scenes in Hannibal. And the, you know, the climax of the entire series is the most violent thing that I've seen on TV. And I was fine watching that. But there was something about the the tenseness and Dahmer and the buildup and just having the series, having the, the entire first episode just focus on the in the moment, extremely tense, uh, just th that whole... Dahmer in the bedroom with this guy kind of just yeah. watching and waiting and the suspense is just building and you know what's going to happen but I, I don't know maybe, maybe that's what got to me just the, the 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 eeriness of nothing happening as opposed to a show like Hannibal where it is violent that it is it is eerie but it's there's not as much uh there's not as much hanging depravity. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. There's a lot of just long moments of uncomfortability and Dahmer that got to me. Anticipation is more intense than actual ex emotional experiences. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that checks out with my my response to it. <laughs> we did experiments on, on, on this, the anticipation of unbearable pain why we took men and women and to see what they could handle and put balloons up their ass and blew up the balloons until they couldn't stand it anymore. Oh my God. And then, and did, and then did PET scans to see, the, you know, looked at their threshold and their brain patterns. And we wanted to compare men and women. And then we, then we just told them the next week when they came in, we're going to blow it up even more. And that's what got them. It's the anticipation of the coming pain and that, that emotion. That's what really f turned the brains on. How many, so I've, I've many questions to that. How many people came back the next week when you told them you were going to blow it up more and does being gay affect the way that people responded to that experiment? We, we thought the women would be able to take that more than the men could. That is the threshold for the pain, because women, from the time they're young, they're used to more used to being mm -hmm. uh, sort of tested, right? Uh, and, and and so there's not as much of that was our idea. It turned out not to be true, and so, uh, but also the anticipation. The women were much more bothered by and tuned into. And you can see it in the the, the brain patterns. Uh, by the anticipation of 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 where this pain was going, uh, but they all came back. Mm. So the men, it wasn't so the, much, the men were able to so take more. The pain, it wasn't so much the pain of the experiment was bad. What was bad to them was the anticipation of the next one. So the, never, you know. But, so the men were able to take more physical pain, and what about the anticipation? Was that equal across the board with men and women? The men were able to take the pain itself uh, better. That is, their threshold was 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 higher. Mm. The anticipation affected the women more mm. too. Yeah, I mean, did did people knew what they were signing up for? Like, it, was it a surprise when they got there? How did you announce this experiment? I'm curious to well, like, like women, I, I would, I would women, think, yeah. The two women who did the who created the experiment, who really ran it, uh, they they, you know, 
they very carefully went through. And so the people coming in knew that it was more of a psychological experiment about anticipation. Mm. They, they, they knew that, and that helped. So they knew it was a psychological experiment about anticipation, but they did not know they'd be getting balloons blown up their ass until they got there. No, they knew. They knew. They knew there were balloons up the ass. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I'm. Tr- I, <laughs> I'm trying to think how much I'd have to get paid to be part of that experiment. That's a wild one. You have to pay. Yeah. The, the, you have to pay pretty well. Yeah. Because there's no way of sugarcoating that. That in the explanation, you know. No, yeah, I mean, getting balloons blown up your ass, um, you know, that, did, I mean, yeah, that, it's, it's, <laughs> I, 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 have, I have nothing to compare it to. I, I, it's like, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to imagine being in that scenario. I guess I'll eventually get it. When I get a prostate exam, I know you got to get yeah, like a, a finger yeah, stick stuck up your ass. I'm, tr- I'm trying to imagine I walk into a lab and I'm bending over a table, the gloves snap, and I get a balloon stuck up my ass and someone's just like pumping the, bu- <laughs> pumping the balloon until I can't take it. At what point am I like, this $200 was nowhere close to worth it? Not worth it. <laughs> But actually, it's not the actual pain wasn't that bad, you know. Like I was saying the anticipation yeah. is what really what bothers people. Yeah, which was the basis of your point. 